Hello everybody. I am here to apprise all of you about digital initiative of Indian Railways that is electronic transmission of railway receipt. Indian Railways as a national transporter carries more than 1.2 billion tons of freight traffic every year. Railway receipt in short RR is an integral part of freight traffic. Transportation of freight train begins with the issue of RR and its journey ends with the surrender of RR. Earlier, railway receipts were issued manually on pre-printed stationery. Consignor had to visit bookings office to collect it and then send it to consignee through post or courier. Consignee had to visit destination station to surrender it for taking delivery. Endorsement on RR was done manually. Freight customers were experiencing a lot of issues due to the manual process, such as compulsion to visit goods terminal, difficulty in handling A3 size RR, manual correction, delays in transmission, late arrival of RR causing delayed delivery, loss of RR in transit, and many more. At field level, railway administration was also experiencing lots of complexities. Therefore, the need was felt to find an alternative solution. Concept of electronic transmission of railway receipt was evolved as a ease of doing business. Popularly known as ETRR, it has been launched in August 2019 on Pan-India basis. It is a user-friendly and paperless transaction system where RR is transmitted electronically to the customer, to the destination station and also to railway accounts offices. Customers who want to avail this facility has to register themselves in the module. After completion of loading, ETRR is generated through terminal management system at booking station and transmitted electronically. Consigner and consignee can access ETRR by logging into the module. ETRR can be surrendered electronically to destination station for taking delivery. Endorsement, diversion, rebooking, all of the, these activities can now be done electronically. The initiative of ETRR has provided convenient transparent and faster mode of transmission of railway receipt. It has ensured timely delivery of consignment and at the same time saving cost of courier charges and reducing manpower. Dispensing physical RR has resulted in saving of paper, making it environment friendly initiative. It has an added benefit in complying with the goods and service tax provisions and greatly facilitating customers for availing Senvet credit. During COVID pandemic, it has proved to be a boon by providing contactless booking and delivery. Its usage in freight booking ensured supply of essential commodities such as food grains, fruits, vegetables, dairy products from one part of the country to the other. The impact of ETRR has been enormous. It has helped freight operation to reach new heights and has benefited freight customers to a larger extent. ETRR is operational at 3038 terminals, including 1860 goods booking terminals, 1102 private sidings and 76 private freight terminals located in different parts of the country. Freight customers have warmly welcomed this initiative. Within three years of its launch, 7,718 customers have registered for it. During 2021-22, the number of ETRRs issued is 5,45,452, which is 97.3% of total RRs facilitating transportation of around 1200 metric ton of cargo by around 4 lakh rakes. ETRR is beneficial 
in new ventures of indian railways such as movement of freight trains by private parties dedicated freight corridor and planning of time tabled freight express trains altogether etrr is a gigantic step towards fulfillment of honorable prime minister's vision for a digital india